What do you think is the best way to see just how far humanity has come along when it comes to technology? I'd argue, just take a look at the sky and look at the metal birds that we've created. Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we'll be looking at just how technologically advanced we've become when it comes to our presence in the air. Let's start the video. The JF-17, a joint creation of China and Pakistan, is a swift and light F-16-like descendant of the renowned MIG-21. The JF-17A Block III, its most recent model, began manufacturing in early 2021. It is a cutting-edge, lightweight, day and night, all-weather fighter aircraft capable of beyond visual range active missiles, highly agile imaging infrared short-range missiles, air-to-sea missiles, anti-radiation missiles, and much more. This thing is loaded. The structural life of the F-16 Block 7072 is increased by more than 50% compared to that of earlier production F-16 aircraft by a combination of capability upgrades. Most notably, the sophisticated active electronically scanned array radar with a new avionics design. It continues to be the most popular and trustworthy fighter jet on the market today. The U.S. Air Force and NASA both fly the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, a long-range strategic heavy bomber. It supports maritime, offensive counter-air, and air interdiction operations and is the U.S. military's longest-serving combat aircraft. The E-variant of the Swedish Saab JAS-39, which was released in more recent years, is far from being a low-cost fighter jet. A significant update to the Gripen, it has a new engine, new avionics, and numerous other improvements that put it on par with 4.5 generation jets. It has been evaluated as narrowly losing out to newer and more sophisticated aircraft. The Chinese Shenyang J-16, the Russian Sukhoi Su-30, Su-35, and Su-37 are all based on the well-known Su-27 platform. The Su-35S, however, might be regarded as their most advanced model. It includes significant modifications to the fuselage as well as the most recent electronic systems that Russia has to offer. The thrust vectoring engine nozzles can turn in any direction and provide the aircraft with exceptional maneuverability. The Eurofighter Typhoon was developed in the 1970s and 80s like many fourth generation jets. However, improvements have been made continuously to Europe's main jet. Thanks to updated radar and electronics, the most recent Tranche 3 model has much increased air-to-air -air and air-to-ground performance. The FCAS and the Tempest are products of Europe's sixth generation. Based on the design of the 222 aircraft, Tupolev manufactures the supersonic, long-range, strategic, and maritime 222M bomber. The aircraft can reach a top speed of 2,000 kilometers an hour and a top tactical range of 2,200 kilometers while carrying a crew of four. It can also carry six KH-15 nuclear or KH-15P anti-radar missiles, KH-31AP and KH-35 air-to-surface missiles, and around three tons of freefall bombs. Enter the Rafale, the most recent variant. The F-3R has made several improvements to its sensors and armament. The F-4 is still being developed and it will include new avionics and radar technology. In the near future, this variation will start to be delivered to consumers in France, the United Arabian Emirates, and India. One of the frontline bombers in the Russian Air Force's strategic aviation arsenal is the Sukhoi Su-34 fighter bomber. The aircraft is capable of transporting 8,000 kilograms of armament, such as the Cobb 500L, Cobb 500KR, or Cobb 1500L slash KR, cluster bombs, incendiary, guided, and unguided bombs, respectively. A 30 millimeter gun, guided air-to-air, air-to-surface missiles, and unguided missiles are among the other weapons. The F-15 is the first fighter jet in history to have more than 100 air-to-air -air kills and no air-to-air -air losses, serving as a representation of American air might. The most recent model of the aircraft is the F-15EX, built by Boeing. The aircraft has numerous upgrades, including new radar, avionics, and armament systems. It has already attracted a lot of interest from clients throughout the world. 
Responsible for holding the record for the world's fastest fighter jet ever made, you probably knew you would find it on this list. The first flight of the original Blackbird occurred on April 30, 1962. The SR-71, which had more fuel capacity than the A-12 and a second seat for a reconnaissance systems officer, quickly replaced the smaller single-seat A-12. Despite being primarily employed for reconnaissance, the aircraft could fly above 85,000 feet. The U.S. Air Force predominantly employs the Rockwell International B-1B Lancer, a long-range strategic bomber. The aircraft has a smaller radar signature than its basic model. It can carry 84 Mark 82 conventional 500-pound bombs and is propelled by these engines. Additionally, an AGM-69A nuclear short-range assault missile is also transportable. This light fifth-generation fighter plane was created 10 years ago. However, the project was recently revived and improved. It'll probably become China's new fighter jet for carriers, and there may even be some export sales. The FC-31 has recently been photographed with a new canopy, rebuilt engine housing, and numerous other exciting modifications. Cargo planes are just as relevant in today's era as the rest, so let's take a look at some of them as well before coming back. After experiencing delays in development, the A400M is scheduled to enter service in 2013 and is intended to replace the C130. Reducing stress on the wings and fuselage by using eight bladed variable pitch carbon fiber propellers counter rotating on each wing pair also improves the aircraft's ability to taxi on the ground. The C5 has an operational range of 11,000 kilometers. Contrary to many of its competitors, the C5 features cargo doors at both ends of the fuselage, allowing for efficient drive-through loading. The C5 offers additional space for the aircraft flight and loading crew in addition to 80 outfitted troop seats above the main cargo deck. The C-17 Globemaster, which shares a visual appearance with the bigger C5, gives the USAF access to smaller airfields for remote deployment and resupply operations. The Globemaster normally has a range of 4,500 miles and can fly at altitudes of 35,000 feet while carrying 45 tons of cargo. The Xi'an Y-20, often known as the Chubby Girl, is distinctive in appearance and entered service in 2016 as the PLAAF's main freight transport. The Xi'an is the first cargo airplane to use 3D printing techniques to minimize overall weight and building time. Internally, the aircraft makes heavy use of flame-resistant materials, which increases safety and survivability. The J-20 Mighty Dragon China's version of the fifth-generation fighter jet is a big, strong fighter made to compete with the F-22 and the Su-57. Without the thrust-vectored engine exhausts, the Chengdu J-20 may not be as agile as its competitors, but its stealthy design is still very sophisticated. And oh, so sexy. The first stealth aircraft built in Russia is the Sukhoi Su-57 Felon. The Su-57 is expected to get a new engine and a number of additional improvements in the upcoming years, making it a significant increase over the Su-27 idea. It is a powerful fighter with excellent low-speed mobility, stealth abilities, and cutting-edge electronics and sensors. The F-35 Lightning II is divisive, with many detractors pointing out its expensive price and subpar flight capabilities. It uses its sensors, processors, and data links to collect and distribute a variety of information, making it very high-tech. According to the most recent trials, it is virtually invincible in combat beyond visual range and is the best platform for precision strikes. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash that like button and consider subscribing if you found this video informative. I hope to see you all in the next one. As always, thanks for watching and take care.